All right, well, we are preparing a downtown master plan for Elmhurst, Illinois. It is a west suburb of Chicago. And it's a, a traditional Main Street uh, downtown surrounded by a mix of office and uh, industrial uses. There's some multifamily, a college campus. And part of the plan we want to do is a 3D sketch up illustration of land uses as well as coming in and uh, sort of filling in the urban fabric with development concepts. And so we're going to start from GIS data and bring it into SketchUp to build a contextual model uh, for the opportunity redevelopment sites as well as having a model for some representative illustrations for things like land use. Um, really just to serve as a base graphic for the entire plan. Uh, so we have a very good data set provided from the city. It's LIDAR, it's full planimetric data. It's going to be real easy to take this into, into SketchUp uh, for our drawings. Um, this is fortunate. Typically we get uh, you know, just parcel data like this, but uh, we're fortunate here to have full planimetric data for, for everything. So accessory structures, athletic fields. So the first step through all this is we're gonna export it from GIS into, into a DWG or DXF uh, for use inside of SketchUp. So from inside of SketchUp, um, we'll import data. And so here are all of our data files. So these are our parcel files. So to fill the parcels, there's some CAD cleanup plugins that we use. Uh, there's a plugin called Make Faces, which is uh, uh, very handy. So with each of these, as they get brought in, they're just edges you can sort of repair the edge and it'll make a face. Uh, you'd have to do that for all of these parcels. Uh, a plugin called Make Face is what we use and it um, heals all the edges to create the faces for all the, uh, the different line work. So uh, the layering is important. Um, what we do here is we keep sort of all the entities in, in layer zero and then we use the groups to organize everything. And so what I'll do is make sure everything here is in layer zero. And then what I'm going to do is create a group uh, of parcels. And um, I'll just give this uh, a name here called parcels. Uh, and I'll make sure this group is in that layer. So if I turn off that um, this layer, the parcels go away. But everything is organized on layer zero. And now we can remove that layer. Just do a quick save and I'll bring in another planimetric. Let's do um, buildings. So these are all the building footprints within downtown. I can turn off the parcel here and uh, if it's a complex data set you're going to want to maybe make faces in, in groups. Um, so what I'll do is maybe do it in quarters, so I'll do tools, make faces. It's gonna go through and heal all those edges and give us faces on all the building footprints. Um, and we'll do that four times moving across the study area. Okay, so it looks like we have all the building footprints here. Um, same thing, we'll make sure that uh, everything's on the right layer. So I'll take all of these buildings and move them into um, layer zero. And I'll make sure now the group of uh, buildings, and we'll just call this one zero one buildings, and we'll move that group onto our building layer. And so we can get rid of that. And so we have parcels and building footprints um, and we can turn them off. Okay, so we have the building footprints here. One of the things we're going to do um, 
we're going to extrude these buildings. Uh, it's all flat right now. Um, there's another uh, plugin we use. It's called incremental push pull. Um, and basically what we're able to do is extrude these uh, buildings randomly to give it some texture. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is uh, capture all of these single family homes. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is the single family homes will have a, they won't be that tall. They'll be somewhere between 15 and 35 feet where we know some of the other buildings uh, are going to be a little, a little taller. Um, so just by selecting these houses, these houses aren't necessarily part of our study. We're just adding some context to the 3D model. So when we zoom out, it's not just a uh, blank kind of canvas. Uh, we, we're seeing sort of the context of, of the downtown environment, which is surrounded by, in Elmhurst, surrounded by a quiet single family neighborhood. Um, and for this study, we're basically given strict instructions not to, um, not to include any of the single family. So. Uh, so I'll just show you basically what we'll do here. We'll do under the extension incremental random push pull. Um, you have the height, the max and the minimum, and then you could do it sequentially. I'm going to do, you can see here, zero equals random. Um, the way these faces are oriented, uh, we're going to use a negative number to extrude them up. Um, we can reverse the faces too and extrude it, but when we use this plugin, so I'll say between uh, max height will be 35 feet, the minimum height will be 15 feet. And it runs through and randomly uh, extrudes uh, the buildings. And so why we're not just extruding it all to one level, that variation will give us some texture um, so it doesn't look entirely flat. So now we zoom in, we can kind of see what this looks like. Uh, and you can see the different heights of the buildings and it's sort of randomly uh, extruded them. We use something here called pictometry. Uh, you've probably seen these images inside of uh, Bing Maps. It's the same aerial photography service. Um, what we're able to do is pan around and see every building from every angle. We can also uh, look at the year the photograph was taken. Bing Maps works fine as well. Uh, we do pay for pictometry. Uh, Bing, of course, is, is free. And so we'll zoom into Elmhurst. Quickest way to, to sort of spot check is just to count the number of stories you can see off of the aerial photography. Uh, we'll switch to bird's eye. Uh, and when we zoom in, you see these are the same uh, photographs that, uh, that's in the pictometry data set. Um, so if I zoom in here, I can see that this is a five-story building. Uh, these are five-story buildings here. And inside my SketchUp model, once it's been extruded, uh, these are these buildings here. So we want to make sure they're they're 50 feet. If we measure these, they extruded at 27. So we'll bring them up another uh, 23 feet. And I'm not too concerned about the decimals uh, in the feet. Um, I'll turn perspective back on. And so uh, there's another real significant building within this downtown. It's this multifamily building right here. Uh, if I take a look at, at Bing, here it is. Um, it's a nine story building, one, two, th so it's about a hundred feet tall. Um, so again, what I'll do is just measure to see how tall it, it randomly extruded at 23 feet. Uh, we'll bring it up another 77 feet. Uh, 
you notice too, some of the buildings are, are blue and white. These are the default colors. This is actually just sort of inside out. If I uh, reverse the faces, you'll see they sort of toggle back and forth. Uh, what we want to do is just make every building the same color, at least for, the, uh, for now. Uh, so just highlight every edge and grab the paint bucket. In addition to keeping your layers organized, you want to keep your colors organized. And so uh, you're always able to see the colors that are in your model. Uh, right now we just have the default uh, colors is not showing up. So if I grab um, colors and let's make them this sort of gray, um, you just got to touch the paint bucket on two of the, the two colors you'd want to change. And with our case, we just had the white and the gray. Uh, so you see this is color 002. Um, so our colors in model, uh, what you want to do is sort of change this so we can figure out what they are later. So we'll change this to buildings. So here we have a, starting to get the, the shape of a 3D downtown um, under the styles. I like to work, uh, turn off the profile lines, which are the dark outlines. And uh, I usually like to make the background white and now we can see if we start adding things like shadows. Um, we're starting to get, I think, a you know, nice, simple uh, drawing of downtown. I will do the same thing with the parcels. We also have the parcels here. I'll turn them on and we'll change the color of the parcels. Uh, if I want to stick to like a grayscale, um, image again I can go to colors pick a, a lighter gray and fill it and so let's here's I'm just gonna call this parcels um, so now if I click my colors in my model um, and if I list them my building and those are my two different colors. So keep the colors organized, keep your layers organized. It just makes the edits that much easier. Um, and so with really um, those two layers, we're starting to get um, the gist of our study area. We still have all that planimetric data we'll continue to bring in. Uh, you see there's a misalignment here. We can just sort of adjust that. Sometimes when you if building footprints are captured from ortho imagery, um, you get a little bit of misaligned uh, footprints with your your parcels, and so uh, that looks good. What I'm trying to do here is, people will look for things like landmarks that they'll uh, recognize in downtown Elmhurst, so we want to make sure those uh, are, are discernible. Uh, I noticed on this uh, image. Um, the sort of stair towers of the garage are on the west side. Um, and so they're, I'm just gonna draw over top of this face. Uh, again, just eyeballing it. Uh, churches are another thing. Uh, you may want to look into adding things like steeples. I can tell you this Elmhurst with the college, uh, a lot of different churches. Um, probably beyond the scope of what we're trying to do with this with this model. Uh, but you, you do get a lot of detailed buildings with the museums. Um, but I think for now, um, this is the sort of focus of our study area, is this main area of downtown. Um, and so I'm not too worried about adding in any details outside of our study area. One of the things we noticed uh, was the opportunities to sort of heal the street wall and find some redevelopment opportunities um, in the downtown. Uh, what I want to do um, here, so this is a this is that surface parking lot that I think uh, we looked at early on. It's right here. Um, it looks like since there's no parcel here, it looks like that's public right of way. Um, so it would be owned by the, by the city. Um, one of the things that um, the city can do is sell off those parcels to sort of spur development. And so what I'm going to do here is create another layer. And I'm going to call it Opportunity Sites, where we think this opportunity is. I'll 
trace over this parcel. And then one of the things we'll be working on um, later on in the tutorial is development concepts for these sites. And so what I'll do is just bring this up and I'll give it a nice bright color, nice red as an opportunity. If I edit this, I can bring down the opacity so you can sort of see through that building and I'll call this uh, opportunity site. So this is in layer zero. Um, I'm gonna group it and create, uh, we have that layer there called opportunity site and then I'll move that group uh, into opportunity site. Um, there are a couple others I'll highlight. Uh, so this, we can see the whole parcel there is the opportunity site. Um, you don't always have to redraw. What we want to do is actually just pick off this parcel. So uh, we'll just select it with a double click and uh, we're going to copy it. Uh, and we'll go inside of our opportunity site group. And we're going to edit and we're going to paste it in place. And what it's going to do is paste that parcel uh, in our opportunity site group. Um, and what we can do here is extrude it to the same height. So bring it up. Uh, so these are, I think, four or five prominent development sites within downtown. Um, and you can kind of sort of see that's the, what's great about a figure ground diagram. Uh, you can see where the fabric is sort of eroded. Um, there is this area here, but that's that park and parking lot for City Hall. So uh, we have basically the gist of our model and at some point uh, we're gonna move in and we'll show you how this site could redevelop um, with a detailed uh, development plan.